Denroy Morgan Children, Wives and Band. Reggae sensation Denroy Morgan is a musical prodigy, a pioneer and a musical perfectionist. For over three decades, this gentle musical giant has been mesmerizing audiences with some of reggae's best-loved songs. Denroy is first and foremost a compelling recording artist who bulldozed his way onto the Billboard charts and saturated American urban radio stations with his smash single I'll Do Anything For You. But he is also a hit machine, a songwriter, a producer, a devoutly spiritual patriarch and the silent driving force behind a growing empire that is delivering some of the important movements and trends in contemporary reggae music. And reggae fans worldwide are now eagerly awaiting the upcoming album from one of the industry's most iridescent luminaries. Morgan was born and raised in Maypen, Jamaica, and after a brief stint of living in Spanish Town, he migrated to Brooklyn, New York when he was a teenager. He was immediately seduced by the weekly live concerts at the Apollo Theater in the 60s where he could see musical giants like James Brown, Wilson Pickett, OJs, Al Green, and The Temptations. These exciting new possibilities pushed him to register at the New York School of Music. There he briefly studied guitar and piano, and it wasn't long before he started two bands in New York, Mad Creators and later, Black Eagles. The latter enjoyed the distinction of becoming the first roots and culture reggae band in New York City. The success of Black Eagles and the distinctive hypnotizing voice of Denroy Morgan attracted the interest of music industry insiders. A chance meeting with Denroy and Burt Reed, the saxophonist from the then flashy and popular Crown Heights Affair band, led to a label deal and a chart topper with the radio anthems I'll Do Anything and Sweet Tender Love in the early 1980s. Denroy Morgan was burning up the airwaves. Suddenly he found himself performing in unlikely venues like New York's Shrine to Club Music, the Paradise Garage, and he was instantly on tour with unlikely artists such as Frankie Beverly and Mays, Slave, Evelyn Champagne King and Archie Bell and the Dells. Morgan was rapidly escalating as an artist, and he was to become the first reggae artist to be signed by the major label RCA Records. Denroy Morgan delivered one album for RCA. While he was touring and recording, he was also fathering many children, a total of 30 some of whom were grown, and he made a deliberate decision to put his own musical career on hold so as to build on the aptitude and the interest that his kids were displaying for music. The efforts paid off handsomely, and the kids formed several groups including the Dreads, another, LMS and the internationally acclaimed Roots and Culture Band, Morgan Heritage. Denroy feels thankful, encouraged and inspired by the tremendous success of his kids. He attributes some of their success to raising them amidst spirituality, each day beginning with morning prayers at home. Denroy himself is guided by his spirituality. He is a member of the Twelve Tribes of Israel. He is also ambassador for the Ethiopian Orthodox Coptic Church of North and South America, and he ministers regularly to scores of inmates at the Devons Federal Bureau of Prisons in Massachusetts. Denroy Morgan has a proven track record of breaking down barriers, real and imagined with his mystical brand of reggae music, and he has no doubt that this upcoming album link-up to Ethiopia will continue to be a mystical uniting force to spread peace, love and harmony among peoples throughout the world. This latest effort will be a musical extension of his faith, the King David Sabbatical Musical Ministry, a manifestation and the essence of his spirituality. Kindly like and don't forget to subscribe as we roll down into this legend life. Denroy Morgan Family Tree Christmas is a time of togetherness and a period when family members show each other how much they love them. However, within the Morgan family, headed by reggae singer Denroy Morgan, every day is like a festive holiday. It is by no means an ordinary nuclear family, but they express their love and care for even the youngest of the family line each and every day. The family structure of the Morgans may be unusual to the Western world. However, it is imbued with love, togetherness, prudence, and a divinely love. Morgan, musician and father of the famed Morgan Heritage and LMS groups, has overlooked the laws of the West and taken upon himself two wives. However, the union is not disliked by the family as all the children accept each wife as their mother and the wives, themselves, exhibit no signs of animosity or distress of sharing the same husband. They are, however, very happy, sharing ideas of raising children and making family decisions. They are also quite comfortable with their polygamous relationship. There are four houses belonging to the Morgan family that line the Blue Mayho Boulevard of East Prospect, 
Thomas where they live. Two of the houses are in the same yard, one containing the first wife and the other, some of the younger children. Sister Pat and the Heritage Group live in the other two houses. The wives met Mr. Morgan at different times. One relationship started in Jamaica more than 40 years ago, and the other began 15 years ago in the United States. He also had another wife, Sister Pearl, who died of lung cancer 15 years ago. In all, Morgan has 30 children with his wives 15 with his first wife, Sister Emo, 6 with Sister Pearl, another 6 with Sister Pat, plus 3 from another relationship. This Rastafarian family is a mixture of the extended and the nuclear structure. At the helm is one man and two wives that manage four households, 30 children and 64 grandchildren. The Morgan Heritage Children and Ventures. Members of the band have been involved in other projects. Peter Morgan has released new music featuring his solo sound, including the songs Stay Getting High and Let's Do This, featuring Elaine, and recorded an album, TUT, The Undeniable Truth. Roy Gramps Morgan, CEO of Deadass Sun Entertainment, released his debut album as a solo artist, entitled Two Sides of My Heart. In 2009, he was featured in the India. Ari Song Therapy, his second solo album, Reggae Music Lives, was released in 2012. In 2012, Mojo Morgan signed to Cryin' Music Group. He released his debut solo album in 2013. Jameer Morgan, son of Roy Gramps Morgan, has also made a career in music, releasing his debut single First Kiss in August 2011 through Deadass Sun Entertainment. He recently toured in Europe with Peta and Gramps Morgan as their opening act. He also toured with Morgan Heritage on their Here Come the Kings tour in 2013. Denroy Morgan, father of the Morgan Heritage band members, has released four albums of reggae music. Other Morgan siblings have developed a more hip-hop-influenced band called LMS, which often tours with Morgan Heritage. In January 2019, after performing at the Wasafi Festival in Nairobi on New Year's Eve alongside Kenyan singer Nyboy, they announced on their Instagram page that they would be working on a project together with the artiste. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.